Hey, I'm Paul Everhart. Welcome to another episode of Fat Roads, Burgers, and Barbecue. Let's roll. All righty, folks. You are in for a real treat today. I'm excited about this. I just drove an hour and a half up to Charlotte to City Barbecue. Um, the secret guest is with me again today. She's sitting in LC as we speak. Um, we've been driving up here for years because the barbecue is just that good. I mean, it's you're going to find out. You're going to see. This place is unbelievable. But what's exciting is they are building a location in Greenville, South Carolina on uh, Woodruff Road, and they are actually got plans for one in Boiling Springs, which is going to be five minutes away from where I live, which is going to be awesome. But the story about this real quick is a gentleman named Rick started uh, City Barbecue in 1999 in Columbus, Ohio. And he just loved barbecue and he just wanted to start a business. And when he, when he wanted to start the restaurant, he had some glitches. So he had to start catering and it absolutely blew up. And now, uh, what, 24 years later, he is um, got 46 locations and, and growing. So it's exciting. I love a good story like that. They're all corporate owned. They've got the controls in place. The food is phenomenal. So we're going to walk in. We're going to speak to the man, the GM here. He's actually going to let me come to the back of the house and see the smokers. And uh, we're going to load up some food here because they were very gracious sending me a gift card for this. So it's going to be awesome. Welcome to City Barbecue on Bal in Ballantyne, Charlotte, North Carolina. Folks, I just, I, I, I had to start this up. I wish you could smell what I smell right now. This place is unreal, and the aroma is <laughs> it's insane. So we're going to place an order. I'm going to run to the back of the house, and you're going to see an incredible amount of food shortly. So stay tuned. Folks, this is Tim. He's the general manager here in Ballantyne. And I tell you, the hospitality, we had not even started eating yet, has been off the chain. I wish more and more restaurants would learn how important it is. I, you don't know this, but I used to own a restaurant, so that's why I'm okay. doing this. I love the business. But well, then you'll, un then you'll, under you'll understand this, that for us especially, it's like an equilateral triangle. You take care of the guests and the employees the same. That bottom line business, it's going to take care of itself. That's exactly right. If you're the boss, you've got to come first. Otherwise, I'm telling barbecue sauces to put your block cables. <laughs> Doesn't matter how old you are or how young you are, if you walk through that door, you're my boss. I want to make sure everybody's happy and pleased. And but you'll be surprised how many people do not understand. Well, you won't be surprised. But you do understand. I've been in this business my whole life. I'm never surprised by any of this stuff. Yeah, look at uh, the amount of food we're going to have. It's going to be unbelievable. And your name again? Roger. Roger. He actually Ryder. pulled. Ryder. Ryder. Ethan. Ethan. He actually paid 44 cents off the, we went we went 44 cents over the gift card and he was gracious enough to pay that. But we gave him a 50 cent tip. <laughs> it was an amazing, amazing place. Look at the smoke coming out of all this stuff. Look, oh my gosh. Folks, look here. Brisket. Brisket. Oh my God. Keeping them relatively clean, watching this uh, the grease all build up and stuff because everything that's in there affects the direction of the smoke and the heat. Right. And you know, typically when you're talking about barbecue, the, you don't not not a few really talk about, but the first hundred degrees is the most most important part because that's when everything on the outside of the meat is accepting all the smoke and all the chemical reactions happening and the smoke ring is getting set. You can't rush that. That's, that's the difference. That's why it's called low and slow. Barbecue and rough. Rough. Right. Good barbecue and, and roast. So anything that affects that is going to affect the outcome. And to me, you know, I explain to guess good barbecue is like pizza up north. Everybody's got their favorite that they would die for. But it's the same basic three ingredients that you start with the barbecue the same way. So the difference that makes it is who's doing it and the love and attention 
that when it's time and tune. Yeah. So on I'm low and slow, we cook the brisket, the brisket and the pork. We're down around 200. Folks, check out this chocolate cake. Double chocolate cake. I'm going to eat one bite of it. The secret it's guest said it's amazing. Triple chocolate. Triple chocolate cake I've been um, reprimanded, corrected. <laughs> the secret guest, I'm telling you, out to the moon. Look at that. Oh my. Oh my. Moist. Really chocolatey. But not super sweet. Yeah. It's got it's good. I think it's got bittersweet chocolate in it. I think the chocolate. That's really good. That's a huge piece too. I'm gonna be eating on that for a week. Awesome. Okay folks, I had some technical difficulties. So you're not gonna see the entire sandwich. Look at this. This is a brisket sandwich on Texas toast. It is absolutely unbelievable. Yes, it's half eaten, but again, it's problems. Unbelievable. Oh. Tender. Smoke ring. Texas toast. I don't know what they do to make it so soft. Unbelievable. My favorite sandwich, period. Yeah. They've also taken smoked chicken and pulled it. And they've got a, a sandwich or what this is called naked. Word just sounds funny to me. Naked. So we're going to put up some sauce on it. Look at that. Easily. Besides some cornbread that I had when I was a child at a, out in the country from one of my great aunts. Some of the best cornbread I've ever eaten in my life. It's like cake. Unbelievable food. I've been sitting here talking with the new GM, Matt, with the GM for this store, Tim. Been talking to him for the last hour. Amazing people, amazing hospitality. I mean, corporate sent me a gift card which bought every bit of this, which is just off the charts. So, check out City Barbecue. Right now, Valentine, Charlotte area. Soon coming to Greenville, South Carolina, probably December, or Woodruff Road. And then at some point next year, Bowling Springs, South Carolina, which is going to be amazing. That's five minutes away. The secret guest has eaten all her food and she gives it two thumbs up. I'm giving it two thumbs up. So stay tuned. I'll probably be coming back to City Barbecue because there's some other things on the menu that I missed. I want to try. They've actually got a sandwich called More Cowbell. For those of you that know about Cowbell, it's funny. So, see you next time on another episode of Back Roads Burger Park. I would like to thank Kelsey at Corporate for the amazing generosity with the gift card. It was very, very nice for you to do that. Uh, the general manager, Tim, the district manager, Matt, Ryder, and Ethan for the uh, just super hospitality. The food speaks for itself. I cannot wait for you guys to hit the upstate of South Carolina. You are gonna blow it up. Thanks so much. Congratulations.